So now problem number four, it says that we can do linear, the linearization, linearization process. I still didn't say it exactly how I wanted to. Uh, to approximate the answer of the cube root of 1.009. I could plug that in the calculator and kind of guess what it is. Well, I could get the exact value, actually, for a decimal approximation. But what they want us to do is try to do this without a calculator. So now here's the thing. This is very much like f of x is equal to the cube root of 1 plus x. Okay? Well, that's the same as saying 1 plus x raised to the 1 third. And so if I can write it like a binomial expansion, then the approximate value when x is very small or close to 0. The linear approximation, as we found out in chapter 4 when we did some of our homework, would be 1 plus k times x. Yes? Is that 1.009? Yes, 1.009. Okay, I can't see the... That's okay. So I, I'll write it on the board when we get to it, though. All right, so, so here's what we need to do. I'm going to take this function, and I'm going to linearize it. So I'm gonna, the linearization process looks like this. We have f of x... f of x minus f prime of x times x minus a. And we'll, we'll figure that out. So if I want to approximate this, which is the cube root of 1.009, well, I need to figure out what f prime of all this stuff is. So if I do f prime of f of x, then what I end up with is one third times the quantity one plus x raised to the negative two thirds, right? Just using the power rule and the chain rule. Well, technically, the chain rule works out to multiply by one, so it's an identity, so it's really just a power rule. I right, toss the one third to the front, subtract one from the power. You guys see all that? Yes. Now, what we want to do when we're, when we're solving for our linearization, we're going to let x equal 0. Okay? That's why we said when x is really small. We're making the assumption, well, I'm sorry, when a is really small. That 0 0.009 is a very small number. So we're going to evaluate this whole thing at 0 because it's really easy to do. And then we're going to plug in the 0 0.009 and we should get an answer. So my linearization of this would be f of x evaluated at 0, which is the cube root of 1, right? If I plug in a 0 here, in other words, f of 0 equals 1 plus 0, and then we take the cube root of that. What times itself equals 1? Or what times itself 3 times? Or what number raised to the third power equals 1? 1. So f of 0 is 1. Same thing with f prime. f prime of 0 is one third times one plus <clears throat> zero raised to the negative two thirds. Well, that's just basically one raised to any power is one, right? So it's one third. So this becomes oh, and this is a plus sign, I think. Yeah. Sorry, I don't know why I put a minus sign. There. So we've got one third times x minus a. And I, I apologize because the notation in the textbook looks a little different and I just kind of got in a hurry. Technically, this should be f of a plus f prime of a times x minus a. Right? And we let a equal zero, so I kind of screwed up. So then this would be zero is what I'm trying to say. And so our linearization is 1 plus x over 3. Or you could think of it like this, 1 plus 1 third times x. Hey, wait a minute. Isn't that what they said? 1 times k? 1 plus k times x? 
Now, I went through and actually did the calculus and got the same thing, right? Because K was one third. <coughs> X is X, right? So, what are we interested in? Well, we want to know what the linearization of what number is. So, what do I plug in here into this equation? Well, I want to know what L of point zero zero nine is. Well, that's going to be one plus point zero zero nine divided by three. Well, what's that? One point zero zero three. What do you guys think? Ding, ding, ding. 